In this video, uh, we just wanted to show that we have a device used uh, for CPR feedback um, using the Arduino Mega 2560. The components used for this device is a potentiometer, a push button, a screen to give the feedback. We have a force sensor here to press on to perform the CPR compressions. <laughs> And we have two LED lights, the red one indicating that uh, it's on and the yellow one comes on to let you know that the there's enough force applied to the force sensor. Um, and then we have the Arduino. So the purpose of this assignment was to create a CPR feedback device. And it's incredibly important for people like me, being that I was a lifeguard for four summers, because... When you're given CPR, you don't always think about how many compressions you're on. Well, you do think about that. But you don't think about how fast you're going. And knowing that you're going too fast or too slow is incredibly helpful. And also that you have a count for 30 because your cycle is 30 to 2. It helps to have a, a count to help you know when to start rotating around. Here is a demonstration of the way the force sensor works. As you can see, when there is enough force applied, the yellow light comes on. But as you can see, with the tapping, is not applying enough force, so the yellow light does not come on. Here are the LED lights, the feedback screen, the push button, the potentiometer, and the force sensor. Here is an up-close demonstration of the force sensor. As you can see, again, when I tap the force sensor, it doesn't turn yellow, but when I push it hard enough, it does turn yellow. The red signal indicates that it is on. Here is an up-close shot at the feedback screen. As you can see, as he applies compressions, it gives a counter as to how many compressions have been applied. And then finally, after 30 compressions, it'll give you beats per minute.